Hello everyone. So I just wanted to help you out on alignments. Maybe the guys are out on your golf course and they're having a little too much fun on Friday and Saturday afternoon. And I want to show you how to decipher on alignment which side needs to work if you need parts replaced. So just pull it in your shop, turn the steering wheel straight ahead. And then I want you to look at the tires. You can see that this one is straight, this one is crooked. If this one needs anything well you know you're gonna to have to work on this one and if it needs anything or any parts we're gonna be working on this side this side is gonna be perfectly all right so on our club car product we have two greasers these are the only two greasers on the whole car so before we check for play we are gonna grease the greasers what you always want to notice on the golf course or at your house if your steering wheel starts to get a little tight you want to put some grease in them spindles I suggest on the golf course you're doing that about once a month so the first thing we want to do when we get it up in the air is check for movement on the tire side to side or up and down. And now we can do an alignment. We've already checked tire pressure. So what we've been noticing uh, is if the steering wheel is straight, then if you look at the threads on your tie rods, you should have just about the equal amount of threads on your tie rods. And that means we're going to have perfect wheel alignment when we're done. So what we have on our club car product is four bolts here, and then we have a cam bolt here and a nut. So it's 14 millimeter, seven millimeter. You can, you can use half inch or 13 on the bolts. We need to loosen all those. And with that cam bolt, it is gonna take the, cat, the camber of the car and do this if we need a camber adjustment. So now that we got it back on the ground, we can check the camber and you'll be able to tell how that cam bolt makes the camber positive and negative. And you can just wash the top of those tires and you will be able to tell how that cam bolt is actually working our camber on this car. Now, in the manual, it tells you for club car, that when you get your framing square out, that's about a quarter of an inch right there. Well, a little less than a quarter. And uh, that measurement right there should be same on, the both, on both sides. And that's where you want to adjust your camber. And that's almost too much perfect. So we're gonna, we're gonna make the camber go out and show you a little bit better. See how much of a gap there is there now? Compared to this tire over here. See how we got a big gap at the top? That is incorrect. So what I've noticed right about there, about 3 sixteenths of an inch, that's just about perfect. But no matter what the measurement is here, if it's quarter inch, or bigger, as long as it's on the same, both sides, the same thing, that is the correct camber. To tighten it, you want to adjust or tighten this up so it will hold the, your camber adjustments. But what I do is I hit the 13 millimeters first. That way that cam bolt can't move. And I'll do the cam bolt last. But it's kind of like your preference. You can do the cam bolt first if you want. Then always make sure you tighten the cam bolt. So what that does, in my opinion, is on those 13 millimeters, it doesn't let that leaf spring shift whatsoever. Sometimes when you hit the 916 or the 14, it'll turn a little bit on you and you won't realize that. So on the toe of your vehicle, Club Car wants the, toe, the front of the toe to be 3 eighths of an inch less than the rear. I myself like to put it at about an eighth of an inch. If you get it too far towed in, it will feel like you're driving on ice. But 3 eighths of an inch is what the manual says. So we, we're going to adjust the toe on this car. Um, when you do the point of reference, just make sure if you do it right there, it, we're going to take another measurement in the rear. It has to be in the same spot. We do not want to measure here and then measure on the bottom of the tire in the back. We want to measure about the same height, if that makes sense to you. So right now we're looking at, at my point of reference, 39 and 3 eighths. So on the back, you want to almost just all the way up to that frame. And we're at 40 inches, so we need to adjust the toe.
And when you're adjusting the tie rods, this should always be straight. If you if your car has been wrecked and it flops, you need to replace this inner tie rod. I have adjusted it. And what you'll want to do at that point is push the car so the suspension will release and go true. And measure again. Thirty nine and seven eighths. And that's 40 inches. So that's perfect. So now that we have the toe in, let's say you go drive the car and your steering wheel's off that much. You know your toe is in on the car. So and if you take that steering wheel straight and you notice that the tires go to the right. So then you would take half a revolution out of this one, half a revolution out of that one, and then you'll never have to tow it again. And that will bring your steering wheel back straight. Now, I appreciate it, guys. And what I'd want to say this week is just go have some fun this weekend. Have a good day.